In this video, we're gonna go over how to mark the felt or interfacing for your Chromebook case. And you are going to cut two of this main Chromebook case piece right here. So we already have an outside, inside marked, and now we're gonna do the interfacing. This is my interfacing for felt. In this case, I'm gonna be using felt. Um, and this is what felt looks like. It is a non woven fiber, meaning that it's not, it doesn't have like a grain line or anything. It's not knitted together. It's just fibers that were pressed together with heat and moisture. And this is what it's created. It kind of has a little stiffness to it, you'll see. And that's why we're using it so that our Chromebook case here can be a little bit stiffer and not so floppy. To measure, to mark this, you're not actually gonna see your felt anywhere. It's gonna be completely enclosed. So like, I don't see this anywhere in here. It is completely enclosed. It's between my inside and outside and we don't see it at all. So you can use a marking pencil or if they're not showing up very good, you're welcome to use a marker or a pen or something. That will show up a little bit better. And to start, I'm just going to find the edge of my felt, kind of a big piece here. So I'm gonna find the edge of my felt here and I am going to find a place where I can fold it in half and have two cases right next to each other. So this maybe isn't the best spot for that, but maybe, let's see. I'll just keep poking around on all my corners to find a really good spot for this. Okay, I think I found a good spot. So right here, I could trace one out and then put another one next to it. I don't wanna cut them out of the middle because that wastes a lot of fabric. So I'm gonna trace as close to the edge as I can. I've already made sure that if I fold it right on the edge of this, I can have space for another. So I'm just going to trace it without folding in half here. And I'm going to use a Sharpie. If you want to use a marking pencil, they can show up, but they don't show up super great. So up to you what you want to choose there. I am going to just use the Sharpie so that you can see it in the video. And as close to the edge as I can, I'm going to trace out this general shape. Pretty straightforward. And that's all I have to do. Now I'm gonna double check that I have space. If I fold this in half, like so, I'm gonna make sure that I have space for there to be another piece. So I have one piece, two pieces, and they are ready to go. That's all I needed to do.